All right, hello YouTube. Uh, this is a video about uh, Briggs Intec V Twins, the uh, more modern series. I've got another one over here. I'll show you. It's uh, engines looking like this. Sorry about the sunlight. Uh, I've seen a lot of questions in the past, and I had a lot of questions in the past about what all of this stuff is on this linkage for the throttle governor. Uh, what controls you're making and uh, how to adjust them. So basic, first to start, this piece right here, this is your governor arm. This controls the governor inside the engine, which is a flyweight mechanism. Uh, your throttle cable will attach right here, this throttle wheel. Uh, this has been a point of confusion because this doesn't actually attach to your carburetor, which is up here. Um, so it doesn't really seem like you're controlling anything. Uh, what you're really doing is you're controlling your governor, which in turn controls your throttle. Um, one other confusing piece I've heard of is what are all these springs called? This one down here connected between the governor arm and the base plate. This is called your govern governed idle spring, not your governor spring. Um, it gets used interchangeably. You can get different color springs. There's a paint band on here and some for the other one, that uh, you can change the speed that your engine will idle at. So when you have no throttle on, this spring is the only thing that's holding your governor arm and controlling your throttle. You can see the throttle linkage moving up there. Um, so you can get different tension springs that control the speed that your unit will idle at, and you can get that from Briggs. They're usually model specific, but you can change it if you really wanted. This fat spring underneath here, this guy, this is your governor spring. That one connects to your throttle arm. Um, there's a lot of these different throttle assemblies. Some of them have an automatic choke. So there you'll see another lever coming off this side. This one has a manual choke, which part of it's taken off. This is your, your choke lever back here. Um, there'd normally be a little assembly up here, which I took off. But when this is vertical, or as vertical as you can get on this flat side, that's idle. Horizontal is full throttle. The way you can tell, when you go horizontal, you tension that spring. You just put more tension on your governor arm, which is going to pull this lever down, which if you can see up there, it's controlling your throttle plate, which is wide open throttle. Another way to tell, if you come around this side, you can see that throttle lever comes up. It hits that screw right here. That's your idle speed adjustment screw. So when it's up, when I'm pushing the lever up, you're on idle. When the spring's doing the work, that's full throttle. Um, now the other important part of this is setting the governor. I've heard people set governors before. There really is no setting of the governor. It's either done right or it's way off. I'm assuming there's some people who are gonna argue with me on that, but um, basically, this is a course adjustment. It's set one way only. You can make fine tuning adjustments by bending these tabs here and the one back here to change your idle speeds slightly and your governed speed at full throttle. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, I would suggest you don't do that. Take it to a mechanic or somebody who knows what they're doing. Um, bad things can happen if you adjust the governor wrong. This engine is an example of that. The previous owner decided to adjust his governor because he thought his engine was idling about 50 RPM too high. Um, he admits it was silly, but um, so he fiddled with this. He loosened this screw and moved this knob. This knob controlled, well, I can't show you yet. This controls a governor linkage inside. Proper way to set this, loosen the screw, move the throttle arm all the way down. You want throttle arm in full throttle position. The spring should hold it there, but make sure you hold it or have a, somebody else hold it down to make sure it doesn't move. Setting of the governor does not work in the idle position. You can try it in this direction, but it will not work. It'll cause racing or no throttle at all. Full throttle position is where you want it to be. With the arm in the full throttle position, take your wrench. Put it on here and you want to turn this adjustment you see this turns but there's a hard stop here hard stop here you want this turned all the way 
clockwise, the same direction of full throttle of the arm. So you always want this screw turning the same direction as full throttle on your governor arm. Once this is wide open clockwise, tighten this nut down. Now if you try fiddling with this and you end up turning it counterclockwise and take pressure off of the governor lever, I can show you what happens. This is an extreme example because he ran it this way for quite a while trying to fiddle and figure out what was going wrong. But here is the governor lever inside. You're moving that little piece right down there. And that connects to a flywheel or a fly weight and a plunger. When you don't have pressure on that and you run it wide open throttle too long, this happens. It blows up into a bunch of pieces and that gets scattered through your engine. And when that happens, you get this. You get metal flying through inside and you break rods and you throw metal everywhere. There's chunks of metal everywhere down in here. But your governor should be sitting on here and there's normally a little plunger. This guy sits on this shaft and moves in and out with those fly weights. And when you don't have that rod pushing on here to hold it in, it flies back and it pulls off the little retaining ring that sits on this. And then all your parts go flying around. So I hope this helps a little bit. Um, if you have questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, it's kind of simple, if, but you have to understand what you're doing. Otherwise, you can cause things to go very badly in a hurry. So good luck. Hope this helps.